Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to roll out your quads, your, your calves, and your glutes, all just within about five minutes uh, to increase flexibility and range of motion uh, before you start your workout. Okay, so first we're going to start with the, uh, the quads. So for this, you're just going to need a foam roller. So basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to lay your foam roller on the ground here. You're going to uh, place it just above your kneecap. You're going to take your left leg and sprawl it out, kind of a uh, uh, Spider-Man style here. You're just have your hands close by your sides here. What you want to do is you're going to roll two inches up and then one inch back. Two inches up, one inch back. Two inches up, one inch back. Okay, you want to spend about 45 seconds or so on each quad. Roll yourself all the way up to your hip. You can put as much weight on your hip as you want. All the way up till you get to that hip bone. Now, once you get to the top of the hip, what you're going to do is you're going to turn your foot in internally here, inside, pointing towards your midline. And you're going to roll yourself all the way back the same way, two inches up, one inch back, two inches up, one inch back, with your hip turned in, or with your foot turned in. Okay, all the way up to the knee. Again, I'm doing this uh, a little short, but you want to spend about 45 seconds on it, right to the kneecap. Okay, so that's really all it takes, and the difference is pretty crazy though, if you take a look at this here, put my left leg up as high as I can, this is the leg I didn't use, as high as I can go right now, and then the right leg actually has quite a bit more range of motion just from that. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to show you the calves. So what you want to do is you're just going to use a tennis ball, you're going to want to flex your calf and uh, you're going to find the base of the calf just uh, right in between the two heads. Okay, so the tennis ball goes right on the base of the calf. Okay, just want to rest your leg and you're going to want to put your opposite leg right over top that tennis ball just to add some weight. Okay, uh, you're going to do some circles with your ankle. Hmm. doesn't really work very close to the floor, so uh, you want to somehow elevate that calf. So maybe I'll just take a stack of papers here, for instance. Okay. Now this is going to give me some room to uh, rotate my ankle. So you're going to do four rotations. Okay, again, you can put more weight on it if it's not, uh, if it's not painful at all. You, sh you do want it to be somewhat painful, though, for, in order for this to work. Okay, four rotations or so on each side. Okay, and then from there, just a small movement, maybe about uh, four inches or so, and you're just going to roll back and forth. Two, three, four. That's really all you need. And then give it a test here. Just uh, come up on your one toe on the one side and then try your other side and you're going to feel that uh, it's, uh, it's a lot looser. There's more range of motion, sort of the movement flows a little easier. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to get a little bit higher up on the calf. Again, right in between the two heads, but this time, uh, this time it's not at the base. It's a little bit higher up. Okay, so flex your calf, kind of find the two separate heads, and then right about halfway in between the heads, put the tennis ball there this time. Okay. You're going to put some weight on it again. Now this time, just two rotations, each direction with your ankle. Okay, trying not to flex the toes. 
Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to take a, a breath in, point your toe up as high as you can, exhale and point the toe. For four. One more. Okay, so it doesn't seem like much. It seems like, uh, you know, it's just a few repetitions. What's that really going to do? But again, if you, if you test it out, you know, go up on your toe on the side that you didn't work yet, and then try the other side. It's actually much looser. feels great. Okay, so one more I want to show you is for the glutes. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take your tennis ball. Okay, so you're just going to find uh, the bony part uh, of your butt there. Okay, and what you're going to do is you can kind of find the sort of the point there. And you're just going to go just below that point where the bone is. Okay, and you're going to put this tennis ball underneath. You can sit on it. Okay, again, you can put as much weight as you want. Uh, try to put quite a bit of pressure though. You want it to be actually fairly painful. And then you're just going to move back and forth a couple inches. Okay, and then you're going to move side to side. I really feel that's actually quite painful. The tennis ball is not hard enough. Uh, you might try something else like a baseball, because this does actually feel like uh, it's squishing a little bit. So I don't know how effective this is going to be. Okay, and that's really all you have to do. And then uh, if you pull your knee to your chest on both sides, you can kind of feel the difference. I don't think uh, the tennis ball was quite stiff enough, but uh, basically that's what you want to do. Um, maybe use a baseball for that move. But those small movements there uh, actually loosened up my right side quite a bit. So do this before you stretch, before you work out. Uh, it'll help you out with your uh, flexibility and mobility. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.